friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we're gonna do the gaming performance test on the redmi 8a so redmi 8a comes with the qualcomm snapdragon uh, 439 octa core processor which is a pretty decent entry level chipset now we also get uh, 2 gigabyte ram as well as 3 gigabyte ram variants on this device both have uh, 32 gigabyte internal storage now in this video we'll test out the gaming performance so we'll play pubg mobile on this device so we have the 2 gigabyte ram variant with us so let's see if 2 gigabyte ram is able to play pubg mobile and also see how much battery drain happens and also uh, what is the temperature like uh, after gaming so we have uh, this device uh, right now so let's uh, see the temperature first so it's now 37 point uh, uh, 31.7 rather 31.9 so almost 32 degrees we can uh, say that it's 32 degrees and uh, on the display it's again at uh, 32 degrees you can see that uh, 32 degrees is the temperature now the battery percentage is uh, 49 so right now it's 49 so let's play for around 40 minutes and uh, see how much increase happens so let's get started with pubg mobile so looking at the graphic quality you can see that balanced and medium and smooth and medium are available so no uh, uh, hd support so it's a more of a budget smartphone so you don't expect that kind of support so let's now play with uh, this device and see how much uh, is the experience So you can already see that it's not the best experience.
losing the game. The red team is about to win. So you can see that uh, the experience was uh, pretty much average. Uh, the response is very uh, slow actually. So even when firing the response time is uh, too high. So uh, it may not be the best experience you can get. Uh, but uh, still nevertheless you can still play. Uh, no major hanging issue. It is still uh, playable with uh, the, uh, ex uh, I mean, uh, the settings available. That's the low settings. But uh, still you won't get uh, the better, uh, best experience out there. Uh, we would uh, suggest you to go with uh, the 3GB RAM in case you are buying this and uh, uh, if you want to play PUBG Mobile, 3GB RAM would uh, help uh, in a slightly better experience overall. But then uh, still Snapdragon 459 is not a great uh, chipset for gaming. Uh, but then it's still playable. Now let's uh, go for one more round of PUBG and uh, see how much battery drain happens.
so now we are done uh, for almost half an hour or 35 minutes and the temperature is around uh, 39 degrees so maximum is 39 so no heating issues as such so it's well uh, below 40 degrees and on the display again it's around uh, 39 degrees so heating isn't an issue on uh, this uh, device so that's the uh, temperature now talking about the battery uh, percentage you can see from 49 it has come to 43 percentage so around six percentage drop uh, in half an hour of gaming that is in the uh, too high it's uh, pretty good actually uh, just uh, a six percentage drop in uh, 30 35 minutes of gaming that's quite good because it has a larger 5000 mAh capacity battery and uh, also uh, HD plus resolution display now talking about the overall gaming experience uh, it is quite average we would say a lot of frame drops happening because it's uh, two recent one is snapdragon 439 and we have the uh, two gigabyte ram variant so probably the three gigabyte ram variant would be slightly better in uh, overall experience but not by a huge margin though uh, it's still uh, the snapdragon 439 which is kind of uh, an entry level chipset but this is definitely better than the helio p22 and uh, even uh, the slightly higher variants of the mediatek chipset that's uh, how we could uh, find in terms of the gaming so that is the gaming performances heating and battery drain on the redmi 8a hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have